I recently posted a couple videos dealing with 45. You saw me cast up um, these We Tumbaloo 452 200 semi wad cutter bullets. These actually come in at uh, 207 grains a piece. And then I just posted a couple days ago a video showing you my new 1911. And now it is time for the two of those to join forces. It is time to work up a load for those bullets in the 1911. So we're going to take a look in a couple reloading manuals here and see if we can figure out uh, some potential starting and uh, max charges. Developed in 1905 by John Browning for a prototype service pistol, the original version propelled a 200 grain bullet at 900 feet per second. The original pistol design was rejected by Army Ordnance. Now that I've got my loads figured out, it's time to start actually loading the cases. Here's the primed and sized cases that I will be loading. These are primed with the uh, CCI 300 large pistol primers. And then the bullets will be loading. Now being this is the first time I've loaded 45 auto, um, I need to get the loading dies set up. This is the bullet seating die. This also, if you screw it down far enough, will apply some crimp, but I'm not going to use the crimp from this die because this um, deluxe, this four die set, comes with the Lee factory crimp die. There it is, my very first uh, fully loaded 45 auto cartridge. Outstanding. And get these out, make sure the gun actually works, doesn't blow my face off. Get these uh, loads over the chronograph and see how it works out. Thank you. 